Motor Drive Application Director at Efficient Power Conversion. Today I want to talk about gallium nitride in the e-bike application so that you can drive farther with a longer time and better fun. So this is a DPC9167 reference design board that is perfect for the e-bike application. In this version you see in my hands there are two EPC2065 in parallel so each of them is 3.6 million so per phase we have 1.8 million there is also the version with just only one uh, device per phase depending on uh, on your e-bike application and the current that is needed to run it on the board there are also the st drive g600 which is the gate driver rugged gate driver to drive the uh, gun fed and we have also several electrolytics and uh, ceramic capacitor but for the bike application really they are not needed so if you take the board you can remove the capacitor you don't need and i tell you we tested this board with a 33 amps of rms per phase current with just nine of these capacitors each of them 10 microfarad so for a total of 90 microfarad so for an application like the e-bike, most likely you do not need a heat sink and you can reach up to 25 amps of mass in acceleration as usually is in a typical e-bike application. Okay, here, here you see a demonstration with a front wheel hub motor. This is motor is a 36 volt motor, it's mounted on a 36 inch wheel and it's front wheel of a bike and it's made for a European market, can go up to 25 km per hour. It is connected to the uh, reference design which is uh, including the power section and the control section. The control section has an adapter board to adapt the ST32 Nucleo uh, controller board. And um, in this case I'm driving the wheel uh, in sensorless mode, but usually for the bike application it's better having a whole sensor connected because you need to have full torque at zero speed. Some words about our connector board, it can connect two, at this moment two ST Nucleo boards, one is the G431, the other one is the F410. And uh, the firmware working on uh, running on the controller is a field oriented control firmware from uh, uh, ST, and I'm using it in this moment of running it in uh, torque mode. Because when you driving a bike, you want acceleration, that means you want to drive the motor in torque mode. So let's have a practical demonstration now. I have the motor running slowly because there's maximum uh, load torque applied to it by the, the stand system. So it is simulating like when you're pedaling uphill. So I want to give more torque. So let's have a look on how I do it. I'm using the, the graphical user interface in the torque mode. And now I will ask higher torque. And by doing this, in the same moment I press uh, enter, the motor will accelerate and uh, it is requiring uh, almost the full current from the from the power supply and uh, I can release the load now to hit even higher speed from, uh, from the system and if I increase the braking I'm releasing again, I'm going like I'm going up hill, and I can also put the torque, lower torque to go again lower speed. So summarizing why using gallium nitride uh, fat in your e-bike application. First, you can increase the PWM frequency and reduce the that time. So you can run the motor at 100 kilohertz and have a dead time of 50 nanoseconds. This is going to reduce the number of capacitor you need and also increase the torque you get per ampere of mass you feed into the motor. And also, given the small dimension of the devices, you can integrate the inverter directly in the motor and also you don't need for the back application and anything. 